if he would like to save up to 75% on a resistant soldering iron by building your own, this video shows you what parts you need to do it. I'll show you the parts and how they are used by reviewing a very inexpensive resistant soldering iron kit. Let's start with the transformer that is the heart of the resistance soldering station. It's commercially made. Safety transformer complies with all safety regulations related to transformer. Well labeled, easy to wire. You're able to connect to either 115 or 230 volt on a power supply and you have screw connector terminals here to connect to your output probes. So you have the transformer itself. On the input side, we have a receptacle and a plug. The plug you can uh, wire or you wire it to another plug that will fit your household power supply. Like I say, you can connect either 130, uh, 115 or 230 volt uh, power. You get some connectors, uh, spade connectors here that will connect to the terminals, make it very easy to work with and then atop that we give you some shrink tube to make sure you have well insulated connections and of course there's wire you get plenty of wire with this kit uh, you get four meters of wire to satisfy everything you need on the output side we give you a seven uh, seven millimeter uh, carbon clad rod uh, capable or used for your uh, positive probe put this in a pencil sharpener or, or something else put a sharp point on it you cut a small piece and put it into a DIY probe uh, there's a link above to a video on sh shows you how to make your own probes. You then also get for the output side uh, connectors that go to your probes. Very simple banana connectors. You hook your wires to them once again using connectors that are supplied, you crush them in place, you get enough, and once again, you get shrink tube to hook to make sure that your wires are properly connected. You get enough black and white shrink tube. You also get one other connector, which connector goes to the grounding point on your transformer. The, you'll need a wire attached to some form of alligator clip. So that goes, works in conjunction with your positive probe you get the wire there. Once again, you get enough wire to fit in everything. All in all, these are all the parts you need. Making the kit is very simple. Wiring it is simple. It's a matter of really just putting some wires in place, screwing it down, adding in a connector, and connecting some wires here and there. In this end screen, there is a link to our complete library on resistance soldering. 
I hope it helps you on your search. I hope your visit has been rewarding and I look forward to you visiting us again. My best wishes for success in your soldering and modeling ventures.